Welcome to a new set of videos on the HTC Vive Facial Tracker. We'll be going over everything I can muster from um, all of my uh, experience and experimentation with this device, uh, but do note as a disclaimer that this is not a beginner tutorial. I'm not going to be showing you how to set up your avatar completely. We're not going to be covering things like importing models. We're just going to be covering playing with the facial tracker on existing avatars that exist in the OS that you can pick up and use. If you're looking for more beginner content, such as importing avatars or building worlds, etc., I have some videos linked in the video description. If you're looking for something more polished that uh, has more sort of a Neos feel to it, there is an official video by the Neos team, in particular Fruxius, who goes over the entire avatar setup process and even some scripting for some of the facial tracker stuff. Um, this is just sort of an alternative um, form factor of that. Lots of people learn differently. This one will be split up into more videos such that I can go more in depth and you can skip around however you would like. For example, this particular video is going to be about setup, getting it into the game and making sure everything's working. Once we're covering that, we'll actually cut the video there and that lets us uh, split this up into easy to, to consume chunks. So if you already have this set up, if you're already playing around with the facial tracker inside Neos, you might need to skip this video entirely. It's up to you. Um, you might learn some things on the way though. Let's get going, like I said, with setup. And first of all, we're gonna talk about um, how this thing is attached to my headset. And the reason I'm talking about this one is because officially the um, Vive facial tracker is only compatible with the Vive Pro and Vive Pro I, I think. Um, it might just be the Vive Pro I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, with enough duct tape, as you'll see, it doesn't actually matter though. Um, unofficially, it can work with any headset that you can connect it to. It just needs to see your face and be connected in a way. I've seen someone that did a gigantic USB extension cord and got it working. I don't advise that though. I'll show you what I've done with my headset of choice, which is the uh, Valve Index, which I know a lot of other people on US have. Let's go ahead and take a look. If I move into Smooth POV, I've got an array of photos here. I brought these in rather than doing um, a shot of me in the real world, I do sometimes do that, but uh, it's difficult to do both of those at the same time with my policy of no editing. I may break that policy soon. I mean, maybe 2022, who knows? But um, this is currently my headset with the huge amount of duct tape attached to the uh, the headset such that you can uh, see it's quite messy. Um, it's just designed to sort of keep the headset there, keep it in place and keep it pointing towards my mouth. I did do something a little bit neater. This still looks a bit messier looking at it um, in the future. Uh, in the future now, it's, it's uh, worn off because uh, all this tape sort of failed and the, the facial tracker peeled off and I ended up sort of having it swinging around sort of my chest height during the playing. So that wasn't that good at all. Uh, so that like duct tape much more advised. Uh, it's just to show you though, like whatever type of tape you have, you can you can manage it, right? Just just duct tape it to your headset, you'll be totally fine. Uh, connecting it to USB is another thing. Um, this is the Valve Index, so it's got the front USB port. To use the front USB port, you'll need to convert the cable that comes out of it, which is USB-C, to USB. So here's an adapter I purchased from um, a company called Ugreen via Amazon. I will link this um, adapter in the video description. I'm not affiliated or being paid to recommend Ugreen. It's just, it, hey, it's the one that worked. Um, if you want to buy a cheap one or one from a different company, go ahead and go for it. I just know that this one works, so I'll provide it there if you need it. Uh, so that's everything I have on the sort of physical aspect of setting it up. Yeah, there's a bunch of duct tape stuck to my uh, headset. It's quite funny. Uh, it's including some of the buttons, such as the uh, um, interpupillary distance switch, and also um, messes with the, the button that exists on the edge there of the headset a little bit, but it's worth it at the end of the day. Once you've got it duct taped to your headset, or you've got it integrated to your headset, if you have one of those headsets that allows for it, um, I personally couldn't afford right now the... Uh, uh, Viper Eye, so I also can't do tutorials on eye tracking. Maybe in the future, I, who knows? Um, let me know if you'd like to see eye tracking tutorials and I can maybe sort something out. Uh, once you've got everything, like I said, duct taped to your headset, you can get onto the software. I'll link in the video description. Uh, once you've installed it uh, and you run it, you'll see this little robot face that appears in your uh, Windows system tray. This robot face looks quite scary because I've blown it up to a large size so I can talk about it. Uh, but it just sits in the system tray. Uh, if that's in the system tray, that means that all the software is working. Um, but you'll notice that it has these black eyes and a black mouth here. The black eyes and black mouth are indicators to show what's going on. So if the eyes change color, um, or the mouth changes color, then it tells you something. So I'll go through the colors. Um, black means it's not connected or it can't see it. Or orange means that the tracker will be, it'll be if it's eye tracking, it'll be the eyes. And if it's mouth tracking, it'll be the mouth. Uh, if it's orange, it means that that tracker is in standby. Uh, so when I'm not playing Neos and the tracker is connected and the software is running, you'll see that the mouth is um, orange. Uh, if I'm in Neos and the tracker is actively being used, it'll be green. Um, and the same goes for the eyes. You know, if it was, if I had it and it was uh, in standby, it would be orange. And if it was in use, it would be green. 
Um, and so if you have both eye tracking and facial tracking, you should see a green faced robot here. But if you just have facial tracking, you'll see black eyes and a green mouth. Once that's done, you actually are set up. You can get going. Um, my advice would be come into Neos and uh, equip one of the standard avatars that works with it. The reason why I'm coming over to this mirror is because um, I wanted to show off that I have facial tracking on my avatar. It's a bit of an unusual avatar to have on there because I don't really have much of a facial structure at all. That's the kind of vibe I was going for when I, uh, I put together this avatar, but I can smile. And I can open my mouth without talking. But it's uh, limited. I don't have nearly enough shape cues to uh, deal with all the facial tracking. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to an avatar that does have that. This is also the one that I recommend you use when you are trying to uh, see if everything's working. So you can find this avatar inside the Neos Essentials folder. By default, every Neos account has Neos Essentials in their inventory. If you've deleted it or removed it, you'll have to speak to someone in the game who will be able to give it to you. I'm just going on turning on my uh, private UI so you can see it. Here we are, Neos Essentials. If you go inside the avatars folder here, you'll see face tracking ready, and then inside here there are two avatars. I'm going to pick the one on the left, Neo's face bot, hit the lightning bolt, and you'll be inside it. Give it a second to load here. Oh, I'm using a mirror. I could just use third person camera. That's probably there. There we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit here, and you'll see that all the facial tracking is working. and uh, everything's good to go. With that set up, um, you're actually done with setup. You're now in the game and you've got facial tracking available to you. Um, unlike maybe some other applications, you don't need to sort of initialize it or do any buttons like that. If you run Neos and that face goes green in the mouth, you're done, you're set up, and we can move on to having fun with it. So that's it for part one setup. We're gonna go into part two now, which is um, configuring it on various avatars and how that works um, and also expressions and how to drive those. See you next. Bye-bye.